Project. This is this actual second song off of Goals. And like the way I just put the whole Goals together, she came up to like 15, 14 tracks. And I just did that whole shit like by myself. I, I honestly had the intention of like no features, period. No features. Just because I've been doing music for a minute. You know I mean, so I feel like when I went away, probably, like, people probably didn't take my shit serious. But I always took my shit serious because at the end of the day, I knew what I was doing. I just had to put myself in a better position purchase just because I was focused on something else, working on something else. Don't mean this shit was never serious to me. Don't mean this shit was never a passion. So, like, because I went away and do what I had to do, not to sit here and take his shit the way I want at my pace and just go from there. Like, shit's called goals for a reason. Like, you got to plan shit, write it down, see it, and just go at it day by day. You can't rush it. I mean, some, that's a problem with a lot of people. Some people just want that instantaneous shit, but you can't get that. Take the shortcut for something, man. You're not gonna really enjoy it because you got it that quick. So you're not gonna understand the hard work that went behind it. You're not gonna appreciate that shit more. You're not gonna, I mean, take pride in it. So for everything that I work towards, man, I really put in like sweat overnight. Just bust my ass day in and day out for this shit, man. I be Gucci now. It's all about goals, man. Good on a lot of shit. So when people, you know what I mean, when I when I got my shit, and then I'm at the point where I feel like. Finally where I want to be, nobody can sit there and say, yo, you remember, yo, I did this for you, yo, this and that, da 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 like, nah, my nigga, like, I'm you good, though, yo, yo, you need this, yo, nah, I'm good, yo, bro, let's go do, nah, I'm good, bro, I'm good on a lot of shit, my nigga, there's certain things I don't need no more, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean, you gotta rely on yourself for a lot of things, like, ain't nothing wrong with that, but when you do handouts, people try to sit there and want to bring that shit back, hold it over your head, like, I ain't got time for that, man, niggas too grown for that shit, like, real talk, but we here. Shout out to my boy Mo Buck Smart out here, man. My boy working too, man. He got that cock bang, cock bang, cock bang. Hey. A lot of niggas talking, yeah, but man. nobody really doing it. Underlay. That's the hey. difference. Underlay. So you're going to see New Year, New Money. You know, so some, some new shit coming out right now. Facts, bro. Facts. It's only the beginning, man. 2018, right around the corner. Like, I was lining my whole shit up for this point. Period. So that way when shit starts happening, boom, next, boom, next, boom, next. That's it, like. It's gonna be crazy, man. I'm looking forward to it, like. I surprised myself, but I knew I was capable, but just had to do it. And that's it. Now I'm the one they go to, you know what I mean? That shit right there is gonna be a banger. People already fuck with it based off the little snippets that I show people. I mean, my, I got my close proximity people that I let them hear it. A couple people I sent them the actual rough version to it. Shout out to everybody that put in the work behind it. Anything that went 
behind this entire project from my features, my boy Mobox Mar, my, my homie Lion Reed, we out here. Shout out to Milo behind the camera, got my son Box Visuals on one visual. I mean, got my boy Blacklight, aka Steve, on the engineer. You know what I mean? Got my other homie Paper Plain Wine on it too. Like, shout out to everybody in every way that just put this whole shit together, man. I thank you all, you know what I mean? Lion Team, you already know, loyalty is a must. We out here, baby. From Brooklyn to LA, man, we everywhere. So we begin Take over. 14 songs on there. And like, every time I write some new shit, and I actually like, you write it, you hear it, you hear it in your head. How you hear it in your head is like, nah, it's gonna come out just like this. So sometimes you gotta understand, you gotta be patient when you go in, record it, it takes time. I mean, you gotta, sometimes some people like to go in and just record and let the engineer do whatever to the song. Me, I like to actually communicate my engineer, like, yo, how about this? Let's do this, let's do that. Then I go back and forth. To me, I find that shit is more productive like that. I mean, so, but at the end of the day, I never like with anybody I work with, such as another artist, such as a videographer or engineer or anybody that creates period, I never want to feel like if I'm working with them, like, nah, I need you to do this or do that. Like, I, I prefer people having their own full creative thought the way they want to create, period. Like, you bring to the table this, I bring this to the table, and just go from there. Like, I've seen people that, that I mean, that try to tell someone, like, I need you to do this specifically. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that, but. You try to fuck around and tell someone to do it this way, like there's limits to that shit. And I'm, I'm not with that. At the end of the day, everybody, trying, everybody with the same goal. Everybody with the same objective in life. Like they might not be the same exact thing specifically, but everybody just want to better themselves. Everybody just want to do something they never done before. Life. Everybody just want to take their family to. I mean, different shit, but right. it's crazy, man. Ain't no how to on this shit, be. Yeah, I mean, skirt, skirt. We out here, man. That's it. That's it, man. 2018 is gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be nice. Like, now I'm the one they go to. Yeah, I can't, yo, go, go to. I'm about to say go. Go to really came out crazy, so I really can't get over that shit. Like, and I said, yo, I literally just added that beat. Like, I literally That's just did. Go. That's the crazy part. That beat's maybe the fact. He sent me to try. He sent me the instrumental and the lyrics, so I had to guess it. And what I guessed was fire. I was like, I know it's fire regardless, so I was like, I'm about to hop on this. And I started writing that same day. I hit him back like, yo, we in the studio today because the ball is coming out lit. <laughs> he said, bad. And he did it, made it happen. And now, yeah, he passed. Still a nigga struggle on whatever cause And what it cost me, couple friends I done lost Still in the slave space, paid by the boss Slum story And the funny thing is I actually had a song before Called Story of the Slum I mean, and that, and that, and that song was That song was That song was hard to me That song was hard It's like the vision of slum, familiar with bumps Watching niggas getting over since copping the fuck You know, I'm just like that's like someone growing up in, the, in I mean, in the, in the ghetto in the slum or whatever period, like where you got no father figure, like, alright, what you about to turn to, like, we gonna do this, like, at that moment, that's when you got to decide what the fuck you want for your life and how you gonna go about it, and like, you go down this path, you go down that path. Let's see what happens from there. Run, run, run. I was in my bag, never fell off. Some of y'all are mad that I'm well off. I got never let up. To me, that's self explanatory. Like, that's what I feel with the whole tracks that came out with the gold shit. Like, it's goals and the tracks fucking it's self explanatory. Ha! Honey ways I could've gave up. Gave up. Honey in my hand and my rage up. Rage up. All I really want is my dope up. Dope up. Give a fuck. I got pitch me rolling. That's another one of my close people that produced that one. Shout out to Von Solo on that one. He out and doing his there. I mean, link him up. He, he out there, man. He killing right now. He doing a lot of shit. He doing a lot. But I linked up with him. We chopped it up a few times. I mean, support his craft. He support my craft. Like, and me, like, when I know someone is capable of doing something, I want to work with them to see how can, I mean, how can we fuck around and just put some shit together? And we, like, we just body some shit. And when it's over with, I just think about who all I did and how I came so Confidence, who produced that one? Confidence, um, oh, fucking, I don't know how the fuck you pronounce this. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. 
something on the track. I just say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's Ebi or Evie on the track. But shout out to him. Oh, Evie on the track. See, there we go. See, Evie on the track. He produced that. He produced that confidence shit. Evie on the track. I fuck with that one. Like, the sound on confidence is something that I knew that I was capable of doing. It just how can I go about it? But it feels like, but it feels like. You say to give it all, it ain't easy. No one things have been easy. Yeah. So I got Fantasy featuring Team Ayana. Shout out to Team on that one. She out there killing too. She just, she just had some shit done. She just did a video too, I think. From the days I done came up, got my change up, never change up now with the great feel. Stuck like I'm Bruce Wayne moving through lanes. James Jeeves was the first track I actually wrote that I even think. I mean, I had no idea where I was going with it when I wrote it, but I was just writing based on how I felt at the moment. And then, that just came together. Shout out to uh, Magic Beats on that one. He produced that one. Yeah. My but the folks ain't nothing new. No, trying to get paid, no, it's mutual. Yeah. He's got a lane, he's got a pain that would teach him a thing. Got him. Fuck yeah. That's what my boy Lion know well, you know what I mean? Shout out to my boy Reed on that one. Lion, you already know what it is, man. Fucking, that's AZ Beats on there. That was the one that I said I wrote, and I just had just a verse for it. Like I had an idea what, what like the kind of sound I wanted or how, how I wanted the hook to go, but I'm like, I was still questioning that one. And I said, I'm like, nah, I know we can do this one. Except for my boy Reed, and that, that man is a fucking hook guard right there, and just boom. Just knocked it out. I was like, all right. I was like, yo, now I'm definitely gonna keep this one because I was either gonna not put it on there or just put my first only and just leave from there. But that track came out crazy, like. No white but no traffic. No traffic. Could be moving through traffic. Shoot for the loop. That's with no hammer. That's with no hammer. Everything add up. Yeah. Hit all my pieces. No scam. Nah. I got the whole shit that ties with everything. That's the goals, which actually stands for good on a lot of shit. But it's called goals, aka good on all levels. But I know one thing. Shit. I know where I am going to a place that I never been. been. Doing things that I never did. I never Then I got blue faces. Blue faces was the one I was actually supposed to be the fucking the intro. That I actually flipped that with the end rule. So now I'm two such places. And that's produced by AZ Beats. I mean, if you haven't probably picked it up by now, but AZ Beats is probably one of my favorite top producers out there. I got Me Too. Me Too is some shit. <laughs> That's all I can say. Look, was taught to go hard in the never. Love of Money. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite joints on there, too. That's definitely one of my, like, yeah, that's definitely, like, that was produced by Beats in my backpack. But Love of Money is definitely one of my favorite shit on there, like. Infatuated with the idea of money, and there's nothing wrong with it. But you gotta understand, like you can't let money dictate the whole any and everything. Period. If you just focus on the idea of money, like I, I can't explain it. I it can be the rule of all but to me, about money, like I just detach myself from the idea of money, and I feel like that's also gonna attract money at the end of the day. Cause I'm not gonna go fucking crazy because I will have this or have that. But at the end of the day, it's slowly gonna start, it's gonna start piling up. Like you gotta think about everything outside of it that you'll actually start getting. And that, to me, that shit works with a lot with, with everything. Like me, if I was, if I had the same mindset probably a year ago, a year and a half ago, to put the whole project together, I don't think the project would have came the other way. Did like the shit just, I don't know. I can't explain how the shit just came together. Like, when you first came to me with the project, I felt I felt honored. Todd is the one who started it all for me back in the day, four years ago, five years ago. <clears throat> and it uh, pushed me to do, we did one track, me and my buddy Rich and Taj, and uh, at college. And it opened up a whole world, a whole world that I'm still living out right now. So Taj came to me with the idea of what was the name of the project? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gold. 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 Yeah, so Taj approached me with goals. 
foul like, four months ago and taken off. You know, uh, I'm good on a lot of shit. Good That's on a lot. Talking, right? okay, yeah, good on a lot was my favorite track by far. I feel like Taj really opened up. You know what I mean? And showed us a different side that I've never seen before. A little auto tune. Is it? Add really, it added really good, a lot of diversity to the project. He's like my bro. <clears throat> so there's no barriers where usually a lot of artists come in here, you know what I mean? There's that comfortability barrier that you don't know how far you can critique or help or, you know, add constructive criticism. With Taj, he's looking for that, which makes the project better in quality overall, by far. Is, you know what I mean? That's a really, really important for someone outside the glass. They see what's going on a lot clearer sometimes, but to be able to give them feedback and all that, it helps a lot. I was doing my own thing, you know, learning how to produce on the machine. My boy's a dope guitar player. He was rapping, so we just never connected it, and I think that's what you brought. You brought the connection. You said, hey, take whatever you're doing, give me a tiny piece. Richie, give me a tiny piece, put it together, and I'm gonna rap on it. Cause I've never even seen that process before. I was just diving into it. I was so just zoomed in. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's exactly what happened. Dead ass. And that's why. And then, then me and Richie looked at each other like, oh shit. I could take, I could take a little drum loop, give it a year, and then you play some guitar on it. You know, we were always jam. You know, we played together so many times, but never in the box, never in the computer. So we just pulled out some garage band. Threw a couple loops on that shit. That was our first song, and I still listen to that shit. I don't know why, but I know you say. Well, he can't blame a nigga for trying to change the picture that he was raised up in. Yeah, though the stakes keep rising, rising. When the play keep grinding, keep grinding. I'm my way up from the bottom, the bottom. Ain't no way you can stop, you can stop. Know that I got him, just know that I got him. Yeah, all of my niggas, I got him. Made it up top from the bottom. Mackers be popping. Look on their faces, so shocking. Know that I got him, just know that I got him. Yeah, all of my niggas, I got him. Made it up top from the bottom, Mac cause we poppin', look on they faces so shocking.